advanced revenue management fair value and allocation all right so we're looking at revenue allocation and this is the first section fair value and then we're going to have three videos about these fair value related issues and then we'll move on all right so uh, sweet answer four nine double two seven let's go there four nine double two seven the items that your company sells as part of a bundle can have a fair value in addition to a sales price. Fair values are assigned to items that are part of the bundle and that are dependent on each other. Fair values include formulas to calculate the fair value for the items when they are sold. The fair value list for items is created during setup and can be modified as needed. The total revenue amount must equal transaction total. However, the total of the calculated fair value amounts is not required to equal any other total. The transaction total is the total discounted sales amount for all revenue elements in the revenue arrangement. The transaction total and total revenue amount fields are displayed in the revenue arrangement header. In this screenshot from a revenue arrangement, their values are both 7,200. Right there you can see. Each revenue element is allocated a prorated share of the transaction total as the re revenue amount for the item. The ratios for the allocation are determined by the calculated fair value amount of each item over the total calculated fair value for the transaction. The ratio is multiplied by the discounted sales amount to derive the revenue amount for the revenue element. Rounding applied to amounts after the calculation may cause the total calculated revenue to be slightly different from the transaction total. The revenue element with the greatest absolute revenue amount is adjusted to correct rounding errors. The system does not include parent kit elements or elements excluded from allocation when evaluating the revenue amounts for rounding. When the discounted sales amount is greater than the revenue amount, the difference is called the carve-out, right? So when the discounted sales amount is greater than the revenue amount, the difference is called the carve-out. Remember that. When the discounted sales amount is less than the revenue amount, the difference is called the carve-in, right? So there's a carve-out and a carve-in. The carve-in plus the carve-out equals zero because the transaction total is always equal to the total revenue amount. The total carve-out is all also displayed in the revenue arrangement header. The following table shows the calculations for the previous screenshot. The total carve-out is also displayed in the revenue arrangement header. The following table shows the calculations for the previous screenshot. All right, so you've got your sales amount discounted sales they're the same calculated fair value same ratio so fair value divided by fair value total so 6,000 divided by 7692 gives you 78 percent right and then you work out this year so the ratio the 0.78 times the total discounted sales amount which is that so 0 0.78 times 7200 is going to give you the 5616 and then you basically say 6,000 less 5616 gives you the carve out. Then you do the same here, and this one has no discounted sales amount, so it's going to be a carve in. And you'll see that it is the same. Revenue elements that do not permit discount are allocated first in a revenue arrangement. All the revenue elements in the preceding example permit discount. Carve out and carve in ratios are used to allocate billing amounts to revenue elements for partial invoices. The allocation takes place during deferred revenue reclassification. The carving ratios are calculated as follows carve out ratio, discounted sales amount, less revenue amount, right? Divided by discounted sales amount if the discounted sales amount is greater than the revenue amount. If the discounted sales amount is less than the revenue amount, the carve out ratio is zero. Carve in ratio gained from the carving on this element divided by total carving amount is the discounted sales amount 
if the discounted sales amount is less than the revenue amount. If the discounted sales amount is greater than the revenue amount, the carve-in ratio is zero. All right, so we will, over the next three videos, go and look deeper into these data details, 8.11, 8.12, and 8.13.